Good day, dear brothers and sisters, uh, fellow viewers out there. This is the platform of Professor Peter Wuteva, Kuntai in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll be discussing a very important aspect of the grammar of my mother tongue. My mother tongue is called Gamakoka. What I've noticed, uh, uh, dear friends, uh, listening to people speak my mother tongue, it, it has occurred to me that very few people do master the, uh, the what we call conjunctions in my mother tongue. They, we call them conjunction conjunctions. Other people call it uh, call them uh, connecting words. Now, what are conjunctions? We want to begin this lesson, uh, good friends, with a simple definition of what a conjunction is. If somebody asks you what a conjunction is, what are you going to tell the person? Well, uh, if you don't know, I'm going to help you out. A conjunction is actually a connecting word. It's a word that connects other words within the, uh, within the discourse. It could be uh, a word like and, you know, it could be wor a word like but. It could be a word like uh, like as. It could be a word like uh, if. Uh, these are all these are all conjunctions in the English language. It could also be words like nor, n o r. It could be a word like or, o r. It could be a word like yet. So there are many words, dear friends, uh, that would function as conjunctions in. In many global languages, I've just given you a few that uh, that you that occur in many many languages, including my own mother tongue. Now, Ngimikoka is a little different in the sense that it does combine other things, uh, other parts of speech, in order to 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 uh, come up with what I call a, a connect a, a continuum, a speech continuum. So, as you can see, good friends. Uh, there are uh, there are quite a number of words in the uh, in the my mother tongue Gamakoka, which will enable you to uh, to uh, to connect uh, words in your speech pattern. As I've noted, as I said earlier, I when I listen to people speak my mother tongue, it's clear to me that very few people are able to stay away from importing uh, you know words from other languages. Uh, in order to fill the gaps. And so today I've taken it upon myself to uh, play around with a few of those words that uh, my people normally use in order to connect connect words and connect uh, sentences to make uh, to create paragraphs in the speech pattern. okay? We, this is title part, part one of the uh, of the subject that I titled conjunctions and uh, other connecting words in the, in my mother tongue. This is part one. That means that uh, in the up in subsequent videos, I'll be discussing other aspects of this this particular uh, concept of uh, of grammar. Okay, so let's without further ado, I'd like us to plunge into a number of examples uh, in my mother tongue that uh, play the role of connectives. That's how you. That's another word for conjunctions. Connect, conjunctions are connectives. Why do we call them connectives? Because they do connect. Uh, simple sentences to uh, to compound sentences. They do connect compound sentences to complex sentences. They do connect words to other words. So we're going to proceed, good friends, uh, with very simple examples like uh, like uh, won or won. Some of my people say won or won, and I'm going to say that you say that in a sentence that you can see what I'm talking about. If a, if a Mako person, Mako, these people from my village, they say John. John won't marry Nogwe. Okay. John, John won't marry. Actually, they don't even say Meli, Mary, they say Meli. John won't marry Nogwe. John won't marry Nogwe. Like I said earlier, this simply means John and Mary have arrived. Now, as I said earlier, good friends, some people in my village would say uh, John, John won't marry. John Ron Meli Nogwe. Some other other people in, in other parts of my village would say John John Ron Meli Nogwe. Now <laughs> you may sit there and be wondering. So is it is it Ron now or Ron? Well, both are correct, dear friends. As you see, as you can uh, as you can testify, that in, in every language on the globe, we have what we call regional accents, and the, the, my mother tongue 
is now free of that uh, linguistic disease called accents, okay? So if a, year, a person say to you, John, and another person from the same village says, John, they are saying exactly the same thing. They are saying that John and Mary have arrived. I'm trying to under, put an accent on the word uh, won and uh, or won so that you can see that that's how you say end in my mother tongue. John won meli nogwe or John won meli nogwe. All right. So that's how you say, uh, that's how you will say, you will say John and Mary have arrived. Now, another example. If you wanted to say, you, you another, somebody from my village can say something like, no buke won bullen. Okay. No buke won bullen. He's simply saying that there are women and men. Okay. No buke won bullen or no buke won bullen. Regardless of the accents in the in this particular enunciation, the whatever whatever it is, the person who is speaking to you is simply saying to you that in whatever group, whatever gathering he's referring, he's referencing that there are men and women involved in that particular group. I hope this is making sense, my dear friends. Uh, uh, so this is the nature of the, the language that um, um, my people speak, and it is called Ngime Koko. Another example, another example of, uh, of conjunctions in my, uh, in my mother tongue is the word, uh, is the word, Bert, which is uh, actually, um, which is translated as m, m, and I'm going to give you an example. If I, so a, 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 a person says to you, "Tia no kie book, buseke, tia no kie buseke, m bon kie bu yokefe, m." The m, as you hear, good friends, is actually a conjunction which is translated into English as but. Okay, in this sentence that I've just read uh, read out to you, what the speaker is saying here simply is that your father has a car, but but he but doesn't have an an aircraft. Okay, an aeroplane. So as you can see again, this word, this word, um, um, uh, 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 it, it, it simply translates um, but as, as in my mother tongue. And you can push this further. You can say, for example, uh, you know, for example, no, which means this mom, this mother, what this speaker is simply saying here using the conjunction uh, is saying, he is saying, that this woman, this lady has um, has boys, has sons, but doesn't have daughters. And you can see that the contraction that he has used in order to come to, to come, uh, you know, express the contrast is the word m. As I said here in the example, no no kie vable m bon kie vable kie. You know, simple translation. This lady has sons but doesn't have daughters or this lady has sons but no daughters so you can see m, m helps my people to construct uh, to construct uh, the, uh, the negation using the conjunction uh, m which is translated in the english as as but another conjunction another linking word good friends uh, in my mother tongue that can help uh, speakers Excuse me. Uh, that can help speakers to sound natural. Is is the word ndube? Now ndube, um, ndube it, it can be translated in the English language as maybe or perhaps. You know, maybe or perhaps. And if somebody said exam an example, uh, made a statement like this, ndube tia uh, nobe wukubu. You know, for example. I'm just giving these uh, just examples, good friends. The, if somebody says to you, "Ndobe tia, ndobe tia, nobe wogobu." He's simply saying that 
maybe, just maybe, your father is a poor person. Your father is poor. Uh, or maybe your father is not a rich person. And you can you can flip the expression on his head. And you can say the same thing as Ndube Tia no Wakua. You know, for example, Wakua is a rich person. So if you flip the thing over, if you flip the coin over and you make you turn poverty into riches, you would then sound like what I've just said. You would say Ndube Tia no Wakua. So the word Ndube, good friends, it's a word that people need to inject into their speech patterns as a connective in order to sound to sound uh, natural and to sound uh, sound uh, uh, sound like like a native. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the Professor of Akunta, uh, Peter, a U.S.-based linguist, talking to you live from the United States of America. He's talking about his mother tongue title and gimmick of with today. The topic of discussion, good friends, listeners out there, is conjunctions and other connective words in my mother tongue. The other thing we like to talk about, we'd like to uh, mention here, good friends, is the word uh, le. Le. If you hear my people talk all the time, they say le, le, le when they want to connect, when they want to connect something, uh, you know, to, uh, com uh, connect two semantic values, two independent clauses. Uh, they, they, to make it a one one complex sentence, you can say something. For example, uh, like "matwa nachu leka kukumba yuan akwa tutuka juju." Okay, "matwa" is 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 car. Some people call it "buseko." "Matwa" or "buseko nachu." "Chu" is expensive. "Le le kukumba yuan kukumba yuan akwa tutuka juju." So you can see, good friends, that the, the li is a conjunctive word that connects the fact that the car is expensive and that the person who is contemplating purchase should think twice because you don't want to buy things that are above your financial level, you know. So li um, is a word that um, uh, many people uh, tend to use in my mother tongue and people who have not uh, mastered the uh, the language will suddenly struggle with it. And so I'm here today to help you to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, to, to master it. If you, this, another example, let me give you an example. You can say something like, Okay, I'm not vivo. Le kakakoton. Akakoton da. You know what I'm saying? So, Okay, I'm not vivo. This woman is a married woman. So, if you are talking to her, you should be talking uh, in a very clever way. You should be mindful of what you're saying to her because she is a married woman. Okay? So, that's the... Uh, I'm giving you uh, uh, some of these connective words and I'm giving you examples uh, of, of sentences in the way you can use them in sentence structures. Okay? Uh, another one, uh, another connective, dear friends, is uh, the word uh, simply means, for example, or for instance, in English. If you're giving an example, you're talking about something, maybe categories of people or categories of things, and you wanted to say, okay, let me give an example. In my mother tongue, you will say, okay, you're not going to sit there and be talk, speaking in Gimokoka, and then suddenly you say, for example, no. Because that type of linguistic prostitution is, is frowned upon by my people. You need to, if you're speaking to my, my mother tongue, you should stay 100% in the mother tongue. And if you want to switch into English, switch into English and speak entirely in English. Don't, don't uh, prostitute the two languages. It's seriously frowned upon by my people. So if somebody says to you, uh, 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 as I gave, I gave you an example about a, a, a woman, uh, um, if somebody is saying, okay, mother gie nukom bambabichu kine, nda fukunu. You know, he's sim simply saying, I'm, I want you to guys, I'm saying this thing so that you guys can understand what I'm talking about. And I'm giving you an example. Nda fukunu is an example, for example. Okay? So that is it, good friends. Uh, we're moving on slowly. Uh, uh, the other one, the other conjunction or conjunct uh, conjunctive word or connective word in my mother tongue is uh, uh, 
is is called handa handa which is um uh uh it's translated as same as or just like or in a similar manner like for example if somebody says to you other okay put hand a team ball other okay put hand hand that hand means just like other okay put hand a team ball it means uh he he talks exactly just as in a similar manner like his uh, like his father you know um uh, for many reasons most of us talk like our fathers because of genetic uh, build up genetic makeup we talk like our parents in some somehow in one way shape or form and so if somebody says to you okay put hand a team ball uh 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 and and nah on top he's simply saying this this person this individual this uh, uh this person that i'm refer referencing here talks exactly like uh like his father another thing that we could say is uh baba kia okay kun kun handle name but nini and that was simply means uh this young woman dances in exactly the same fashion as as her mother okay baba kia is a girl is a young woman not not talk okay kun kun handle hand or name or nini like for example if that way you were to translate this you'll be saying uh you'll be saying uh, this young woman uh, dances in exactly the same fashion as his as her mother okay so we're moving on dear friends and i want to uh, i don't want to make this video extremely long because uh people will will, will fall asleep as i made, as i promised at the beginning of this video this is only part 1 I'm going to uh, devote another another video to to part two of this topic because I think it is very very important. When you listen to my people talk uh, speak, sometimes uh, especially those of us who have uh, been exposed to other foreign languages like English and French and other Spanish and, glo and other global languages, most of us tend to struggle. We struggle a lot. We struggle with what I call linguistic interference. You see, uh, here's uh, somebody from my village is talking. And suddenly you're hearing him put words in like uh, and uh, and bird and, and all that stuff. That's not what how you speak a language. So that's why I've taken time off my very busy schedule to prepare this this video so that you can help you. The last but not the least, uh, good friends, I'm going to talk about the word be. Be means still. Okay, be is means still. And I'm going to give you an example in a in a in a in a, in a sentence. If somebody says to you, no, no, be a bang. Let's say you were, you went to some compound or some home and you wanted to talk to the mother of the compound and the daughter or the son tells you, no, no, be a bang. Be a bang. Be a bang. Be is still. He's still in the act of sleeping. That's what be literally means. My mother is still sleeping. Okay. If uh, the same person told you, uh, my tear not be a you for me. Tiona be a euphobie. Tiona be a euphobie. He's telling you, my dad is still eating his whatever uh, meal he's, of the day he's eating. It could, be, it could be breakfast, it could be lunch, it could be dinner. It doesn't matter. My people don't have uh, separate words for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They just call it phobi, for you be. You know, for you be. It's, you, know, you, you is eat. So my people will say, Tiona be a you for you be. And in most cases, for people who are idiomatically very well balanced they will not even say for you but they will just say turn to be a you for me because the word you is already telling you that the must it has to do with something that somebody is eating okay so the good friends i have given you a couple of examples uh, a couple of examples of connect uh, conjunctions and connectives in my mother tongue a beautiful language that is spoken by uh, quite a number of people in the ngokotinja division in the, in the north north uh, north uh, re, northwest reg, region of Cameroon, uh, so I hope that this short video has been helpful, and uh, and that you've learned something from it. I am going to stop here because I'm looking at my clock here; it's getting to 20 minutes, and I know people are already people are already dozing off here. So next week, as I promise, I will be coming back with part two of conjunctions and other connectives in my mother tongue. I'm wishing you the very best. Watch this video. Uh, like it or dislike it. If you have questions, uh, please, um, you know, uh, post your questions at the bottom of my video. 
When I do return to see what's going on, I'll be able to answer your question. God bless you and stay strong. Bye-bye.